Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be talking about Slido widget uh, to describe about a Slido widget it is a easy simple and at the same time an interesting widget when I say easy and simple the implementation is pretty straightforward um, all you have to do is um, use slider widget and few properties like minimum maximum and you get the slider appearing on the screen when you use the slider um, and you stop at a particular position you get the value popped up now the interesting part here is um, when I was thinking about the slider um, I wanted to use the slider in such a way that when I slide it there should be something else also changing in the background so thinking about it I came up with a couple of uh, creative UIs so in which I've uh, handpicked three of them and that's what you can see here so first I'll show you the demo of it and then I'll show you the implementation of it so to start up with the first demo I've used a feedback use case so this is the feedback screen and it has the first question and you can see an emoji here with a text and the slider and here it states the rating so whatever you slide the value gets reflected here and a submit button so here what I've done the interesting part here is I've connected the slider with these two components so as and when I slide here these components change so if I'm using just the slider it will not be that interesting so this is how I've made it interesting by connecting it to, with other widgets so I'm going to show the demo of it so when I slide here you can see that the emoji changes as well as the text and if I move the emoji the text and your rating also changes so this way the user can uh, very effectively interact with your app and the final here so you can when you slide back again you can see it changing so there you go so this is one such use case of using the slider connected with your other components now I'll show you another um, demo of the another use case so let me clear the template all right this is another use case where instead of emojis I've used star rating and this is also a type of feedback and the slider with the rating value so as and when I move the slider you can see the stars glowing and when I move back it goes off so you can see the star glowing and then you can also see the rating value also changes and when I go back it goes off so this way I've, I've connected the slider again with the other components so this is some of the use cases that I could think of definitely you can come up with uh, a lot more uh, creative ideas using the slider so now we will see the implementation part of the emoji UI so let me clear up the template and we will start with the implementation well moving on to the implementation part um, I have here a very simple barebone uh, flutter project and um, uh, I'm going to show I'm going to walk through the code and then show you with the implementation of this emoji and the slider so to start up with I have declared two variables um, so in a second when I'm doing the implementation I'll tell you why am I using these variables so I've used the slider value I've used the feedback text and the icon and the color so because these are the factors which keeps changing so that's the reason I've defined it as a variable so that whenever the position changes the values also changes so then next moving on we have an app bar which is a simple app bar with an icon button and um, the text and the another icon then then I have a container so if you look at the UI here it's the simple container plane and then I'm using a column widget to place these two containers that is the first one with the text so this is one container and this is another container so that's what you can see here I have a column widget with the first container which is the feedback question and then I've used a size box just to give some spacing between my feedback text and this container and then I've used my second container and I've used align widget so if you want to know more details about the align widget I have a separate video uh, on it and I'll leave a link in the description so definitely watch it so I've used align so by default when I am not mentioning any alignment it is in the center 
so that's what you see here so then i've used a material so that i can get this shadow effect so i've used white color with a shadow and a circular border so that i get this circular border then inside this i've defined another container with a width 350 height 400 and i've assigned a column because all my text is one below the other so i've used a column widget so to start up with first i need to define a container that can hold the description of my emoji feedback so what i'm doing is i'm creating a padding and um, yeah so i'm making sure that every uh, container inside it contains a padding so this is what my first um, container looks like so it's a container with a text and it's the my feedback text so whatever uh, i mean the variable that i had defined so that's what it's going to get assigned so that's the reason i had put it in a variable so that's the text and color is black simple so that's my first container in my uh, feedback section so this section next next we need to define this icon so to define this icon all i'm using is again a simple icon um, i think i'm using font awesome icon yes i'm using this font awesome icon and i've assigned it to an uh, type icon data so let me add the icon type here so it's gonna be the another container which holds an icon widget okay so there you go so i've added a padding and this container and the value of this icon is my feedback and then the color of this icon is my feedback color so initially it is red so as and when i slide the color changes then so moving on to the next one uh, is the slider so the slider is pretty simple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the padding first and then a container and inside the container i'll show you how to add the slider first i'm going to add a container and then the padding closing brace there you go okay so now inside this container what i'm going to do is the first thing is the slider so if you want to create a simple to follow these pattern so so there are a lot of property inside a slider class so the first thing is you need to define the minimum and the maximum value so first i'm going to define the minimum as zero and then my maximum value as five because i have five emojis so that's why i'm using so definitely you can use different values here minimum and maximum depending on your use case then there is another parameter called division 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 is that um, lines or the point at which you can stop so that you can change it to another value so here i'm giving the division as five it's going to be my counter that is when i slide it's going to stop at the point is one and it's going to make five divisions on the scale or the slider so that's the division all about so if i make 10 points then i'll get 10 divisions on my slider so as of now i need only five positions so i'm using five then value but the slider value now this is the one that is actually gonna so as of now you can see the slider value is zero so that's the initial value i have set it to then you have another property called active color so this color is the color round icon here so this is one color and you can see the line that is also another color so you can set both of these colors so there are some custom colors that i've used so let me quickly add them so there you go so this is my active color and this is my inactive color and then there's another important property which is called on changed so this is where you look for the slide there are values getting reflected so that's when you capture those values and depending on this value you are performing some action on it so okay there you go so this is where you define the changing part now what i've done here is i've used set state inside this what i've done is i have okay and then i've assigned the new value 
to my slider value. So that means on change, whatever the position the slider has stopped, that value gets assigned to my slider value. And then I'm going to do a check. The check is whatever logic I'm going to do here, it totally depends on the use case. Since my use case has five points, I'm using this. So definitely it would differ. Uh, basically it uh, differs depending on your use cases. So in my case, if the slider value is in the range 0 to 1, then I'm going to say it has to display this particular emoji with this particular color and this text. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do one point and show you how it looks. So let me quickly grab the condition. Okay, there you go. So what I've done here is I'm saying the value is between 0 and 1. Then I want my feedback icon to change to this and the color is this and the text is this. Similar way, if my slider between this range, then what I say, I want a different icon with a color and the text. So this way, what happens is depending on my slider value, whenever it changes, your corresponding um, icon and your text gets changed. This is how I'm connecting my slider value with my other components in my UI. So let me grab the other values, update it, and then we will see how it looks like. All right, so I've added them here and um, you can see the text changing. Definitely, this is not the only way to do it. You can use a different approach also. So just to keep it simple for the demonstration, I'm just using this. Now moving on to the other part of the UI, which is the, um, the text and it should display the rating value here and a button here. So for the rating value, what I've done is I've used another container with the padding and then in the place of the slider value, that is your rating and then I've assigned the slider value so that it updates automatically as and when slide. And then finally, I have my button, which is a raised button. And this raised button has a shape with a border radius circular. And at the moment, I've not added any functionality to the on pressed. So all I've done is just left it empty. So you can definitely add few functionalities like uh, when you change this emoji, uh, I mean, when you slide on, you get the rating and then when you click on it you can submit this value to the back end so or you could move on to the next screen definitely you could do that so yeah so this is about uh, the implementation of the emoji so let me quickly build this and show you the working um, feedback page so there you go the app has built and you can see that um, whenever i change so if it's between zero and one you can see that the emoji is could be better with the rating value one. And then when I move to the next point, it takes me to the next value. And then it goes to the another one. And you can see the rating changing to three. And when I come back, you can see the rating also changing. So this way you're connecting your slider with other components. Now in similar fashion, I have done the star um, uh, feedback also. So instead of one icon here, I've added a row of icons. And same way, I've connected the icons with the slider. So as in when I slide, the icons change. So if you definitely want me to do a video on the star icon, I can do it. Just leave a comment and I'll pick it up in one of the video series. And uh, uh, also, uh, I had to uh, highlight this point. If you're using slider as on its own, you can definitely use it. Say, for example, if you're using in a fitness um, tracking app or if you're using in a music player app you definitely use a slider just as an individual widget so that when you slide the volume increases and decreases it's amazing but this is another way of using a slider where um, you're trying to slide and at the same time there are a few other things also changing in the background so I thought uh, why not use it and it really worked so yeah that's it for this video so this is about slider with a slight twist so if you do like it uh, please do subscribe and do like 
and uh, if you find this video informative please do share it uh, thanks for watching